Hey everybody, Kyrie091 hanging out with you. Boy, oh boy, are we going to have big fun today playing some more Mega Man X. So who are we taking on next? I don't know. Let's look at the map. Should we go out there by those weird things in the ocean? Or maybe we should go down here to these weird things on land. Or maybe we should go up to that tower or this forest. I already did our armadillo. It didn't go well. Um, let's see, where do we want to go for reals? I guess Flame Mammoth is the one we can do now. Right? Yeah, we're going to do Flame Mammoth. Okay. So, I believe Flame Mammoth is actually weak to, like, the Boomerang from Boomer Quanger. Whatever a Quanger is. But, uh, uh, I don't have that yet. So, we're going to use other weapons on him. And we should do just fine, I think. We'll see. No, 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 no. Alright, so you can see that the ground has, like, frost on it, and it's because we beat Chill Penguin. Like, if you go down here, you can see that, like, there's this ice stuff. If we had not beat Chill Penguin, this would be lava, and we wouldn't be able to walk down here. We would have to walk up top there. But we did beat Chill Penguin, so we can walk down there all we please. Haha, <laughs> look at those things, these big head thingies, whatever they are. Alright. Okay, so... Oh, boy. Can I get up there yet? What do you think? Can I do it? Can I make it up there? So when you have the helmet, you can break certain blocks, including the ones right there. Oh, I got it! Oh, I got it! Oh, my God, I made it! This capsule is the one right here, dude. Oh, my gosh. We found a capsule, guys. Look at this one. This capsule contains a part... Which will increase the capability ca capabilities of your X Buster. You can use it to fire all types of weapons. Okay, so we got us a new gun. Let's get it. And let's see what our new gun can do. So we charge up and let it go and boom, we can do that now. It's tough to get up here, by the way. It's a very difficult jump to execute. Um, by the way, not only can you do this now. <laughs> I love it. It also actually impacts other weapons. For example, you may remember shotgun ice when we fire it. It looks something like that. But if we charge it up and then fire it, we can now do this. Run on penguins! Anyways, uh, every weapon has, like, its own new special move that it does. Let's try out the spark one just for funsies. So you may remember that the uh, original spark thingy did something like that. Yeah, it's alright. But now when we charge it all the way up, we get one of these. How cool. And there's a heart canister down here that you can only get if you've beaten Chill Penguin because normally this would be lava and you can't come down here. So, you know, that's pretty cool, right? Storm Tornado. Deal with Storm Tornado, you. Alright. Shouldn't be wasting Storm Tornado. Switch back to X Buster. Oh, you. Stupid construction man. That should be a Mega Man enemy, construction man. He has the power of telling you that projects are going to take four times longer than they were estimated to. And at eight times greater cost. Alright, so another cool thing that we can get... Stupid Metul, leave me alone, I'm trying to talk. Another cool thing that we can get out of this level is if we jump over here, we see these blocks you can break after you get the helmet. And uh, breaking these blocks is pretty great, because then you get another sub-tank. So that is three sub-tanks. There's only one sub-tank left, guys. And I don't remember where it is. Oh, yes, I do, I remember now. Oh, frick biscuits, dude. Stupid freaking jerks. Construction worker guy. Oh, great. Oh, he freaking messed up my life. Alright. Let's keep going. We're done with those stupid construction worker guys. Let's just keep this charged up in case we feel like using it. On this thing. Uh-oh. 
That looks like it wants to squish me. This part reminds me of the game Lemmings. You guys ever play Lemmings? This just looks like a trap from Lemmings right here. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Oh, look at this. Little drip drops of bad stuff. Now that reminds me of Mega Man 2. You ever play Mega Man 2? You guys should play Mega Man 2. Maybe I'll do Mega Man 2. Stupid jerk with the shield. Stupid shield guy. You're dead now, shieldman. Shield bearer. Ah, oh, frick biscuits. Ugh. No, oh, gosh dang it. Alright. Haha, <laughs> that looks cool. So, for this dude, we're gonna use Storm Tornado. I think he's actually weak to a different weapon, uh, the Boomer Quanger weapon. I don't remember, but I know that Storm Tornado actually works out on him pretty well, so I think we're gonna use that. Flame Mammoth's pretty nasty. He's huge. So. That's what I love about the Storm Tornado, is that he always ends up jumping on it. Sometimes it'll even hit him twice. That little goopy thing he just spit out, the, if, if you touch that, you stick to it. And when he jumps, you kind of like get stunned for a moment too, in case you couldn't tell. And he also can shoot out these fireballs, it's kind of annoying. Oh, when he does that little arm wave thing, it changes the direction of the little, um, the, the ground, the little conveyor belt that we're standing on. He hasn't, he hasn't done his fireballs at all yet. He's just waving his arms around. Well, he's dead now. He also does a move where he spits out fireballs out of his trunk. but uh, And they, like, land on the ground. Um, I guess he wasn't going to do that this time, because he's dead. Na, 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 na. Alright. So he's dead. You get Fire Wave. Let's see what this is all about. Hey, hey, look at that. It's a little hand thingy. Made of fire. Good deal. Let's move on. Who's next? Um, I really don't know. Launch Octopus, I guess? I don't know. I remember not liking Launch Octopus's level for some reason. I don't know. All right. Launch Octopus it is. Alright buddy, let's do it. Oh, that music. Tell me that's not rad. Ugh! <laughs> Pink stuff. Okay. Well, I better start talking, man. I haven't done much commentary. These platforming games are like... I probably should steer away from these because I spend most of my time, like, focusing on playing the game and not really enough time talking about what's going on. It's just habit, I guess. I mean, come on. This is tricky stuff right here. You wouldn't understand unless you played Mega Man X a whole lot, because and if you haven't, dude, you should. It's freaking fun. There's like a mini boss right here, I think. Yeah, this guy. There's another one of these later in the stage too. Uh, he's just as annoying as this one. And they can do that thing where they suck you in, but they can also blow air back the other way and push you away. Now that doesn't seem too bad right here. Like, why would that even matter? Why would you care if that's happening right here? Well, you'll care later. Okay, well, he's dead now, so good for him for dying. There's that little eye on top. You can kill it, and I don't know what it does, though. Hey, fat, bloated fish guy. Leave me alone. All right. Um, this is where the next one of those guys is, right here. This one's a little more tough. Oh, my God, because he can do that. <laughs> And there's spikes here, so that's why the uh, the little vent thingy actually matters here. Should we try, like, a weapon on him? I don't know. 
Oh no! No, leave me alone! No! No! Alright. Just die already. Thank you. That was very kind of you to oblige. Alright. So we got that out of the way. Oh, this is cool. When you stand here for a moment, do it! Come on, don't make a fool. There it goes. It makes this little thing you can jump up. And you can go up here. And get that. Very nice. Na na na. Doo 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 doo. Oh, there's another one. I don't know what's up here. Probably nothing. Oh, okay. There's like a ship up here we gotta destroy. It's dropping those bombs you see falling to the right. They're coming out of the bottom of this ship right here. So we're just gonna stand here and blow the ship up. Blow up already! Let me go! There we go, got him. Alright, so once the ship breaks, it falls down like so. And you get hit by the bombs that it dropped, even though the ship itself is destroyed, which is dumb. You don't have to destroy the ship, by the way. If you want to, you can just kind of like go past it. But why would you want to go past it? When you destroy it, it opens up this area down here. Which is... Got this guy. And you can shoot him in the head or in the tail. And that's how you hurt him. No! Don't die. <laughs> um, in case you aren't familiar with Mega Man games, spikes are instant death in Mega Man games. So you don't ever want to touch spikes. Generally, I'm sure there are circumstances where spikes only hurt you and don't kill you, but right now they'll kill you. So we're not going to touch the spikes. I like how high you can jump when you're underwater. Alright. I forgot what you get for beating this guy. I think it's a heart canister, but I'm not sure. He's not too hard, obviously. I mean, just don't get knocked into the spikes, I guess, is pretty much all you're trying to do here. I don't know if he's weak to anything. He very well might be. I really don't know. I've always... That's the thing is that... Okay. In Mega Man, like, original series games, you kind of have to use what enemies are weak to. There are some enemies that you just... You'll never beat them with uh, your regular Mega Buster or P or whatever it's called. In uh, this one, it's called the X Buster, obviously. And uh, and in this one, you can, you can kind of get by just using the X Buster. You don't have to use anything else, but... It just helps a lot, you know? Oh, good. Alright, so now that we beat him, we can go over here and get a heart canister. Very nice. See, it's funny, because some of the heart canisters are really easy to get, like the one in Storm Eagle's level. It's just right above the start there. But then, like, some of them are like that, where you got to spend a bunch of time fighting, like, a mini boss and junk. Alright. What's over here? I think we have to fight that same guy again. Pretty sure it's the same that same wormy robot guy we just fought. Only this one can dive underground and stuff. All right, buddy, come on. Where you at? There he comes. Deal with that. Deal with that too. And that. Oh my God. <laughs> I want to, you know, I'm going to look into if this guy is weak to anything, because I'm curious. I figure you got to be able to kill him a little bit faster than how long it takes me to kill him. He's not hard, he's just kind of annoying, because it takes a while to kill the stupid thing. Ugh. Oh, he's dead. Good deal. Look at his head exploding. And look at his midsection and tail exploding. Alright, I think Launch Octopus might be weak to Storm Tornado's weapon, uh, Storm Eagle's weapon. I'm not 100% sure. We'll find out in just a moment though, won't we? Let me go! I think there's... I thought there was something up here, I guess not. Alright. Can you guys hear me pressing buttons? Can you hear that? <laughs> I don't know, I press buttons kind of loudly. So we're going to try out this here. Storm Tornado. Oh, we haven't even tried powering this one up yet, have we? Let's try that. It looks pretty cool. So this guy is homing torpedo thingies, and they're annoying. But he does lots of other annoying stuff too, though. 
You're going down, he says. Okay, so that's not the winner there. That's not what he's weak to. I don't think he's weak to anything that we have. I don't know, fighting this guy might have been unwise right now, Kyrie. Okay, so apparently you can't hit him when he's inside of his little cyclone deal. Come on, jerk. You mean launch octopus? Ah, he's doing this again. I wonder what he's weak to. I, I really just don't remember. I'm gonna use a sub tank. Because I really want to beat this guy right now. How do I use a sub tank? What's going on? There. Oh, it didn't even fill us up all the way. Should we try, like, a weapon like Spark? Can I hit him with this? Alright, what about ice? It's not very good. Ugh. Uh, I don't think we can use fire when you're underwater, but we're gonna hit him with storm tornado here. Oh, that's right. Oh my god, I'm not gonna beat this guy, am I? Oh my god. No! 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 Oh no! I thought I had him. I thought he jumped on it and died. Oh man. Alright, well, we'll try again here. God damn it. Almost out of storm tornado too. It's hard to hit the powered up version of storm tornado is pretty cool, but it's not very useful for a boss like this. It just shoots a tornado thing like up and down kinda. You're going down. Do you think I even stand a chance against this guy right now without any sub tanks or anything? Cause I sure don't. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing here, dude. I can't beat this guy. God dang, dude. I suck at this game. Why does he keep doing this thing? At least it's not that hard to avoid. Okay, so I'm out of Storm Tornado. Yeah, that was dumb. Come on. Maybe I should just let this guy kill me so I can go try a different one. That's what I'm going to do. I'll be back after I get a game over, guys. Boy, that took a while. What? What's wrong with me, dude? Okay. I gotta think what I want to do here. I'm having way too much trouble with this game. I guess we'll try Armored Armadillo again. I guess. Uh, we'll have another heart canister, so maybe that'll make him. I don't know, dude. Like, I don't never. I never have had this much trouble with this game before. I almost beat Launch Octopus with just the Hex Buster, by the way. Off camera, I had him down to like two things left. So if I would add some sub tanks, I would have beaten him, but. I didn't have sub tanks, did I? Speaking of, oh, God damn it! Speaking of having sub tanks, I'm gonna fill up my sub tanks. This is like the best place in the game to do it right here, because you can just kind of like walk back and forth shooting these bats, and these guys drop a lot of the health thingies. So this is just a, you know, a great place to come to fill up your sub tanks. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fill up my sub tanks. All right, guys, I'm just gonna be walking back and forth right here, killing these guys. I will see you in a moment. Riding on cars! Oh, babe. Uh, we got the... Uh, we got the sub-tanks filled up, guys. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Three sub-tanks full. 
So now that we got some full sub tanks, I don't see how we don't come away with the W against Armor and Armadillo here, so, you know. Um, um, um. Alright, so this part. This part, we just have to outrun that thing, and now we can go up here. And since we have the helmet, we can break this and jump up here if we want to. Not that we really need to, but there it is. Raw. I want to be purple. I mean pink. There we go. I wanted to do like the pink power up. That's why I didn't shoot yet. Oh, because the pink one does that thing behind you too, which is really great for situations like that. Rah. Meow. Whoa. Leave me alone. And you. All right. And. Alright, so this part is the part I was telling you about earlier, that you have to be able to blow the tank thingy up from behind. And a great way to do that is this fire thingy. So if we just walk up behind the behind the tank and just hold this on him, he blows up pretty quickly. Now why does it matter if we have him blown up early? Well, because when he blows up early, we can very easily jump up here and get this heart canister. There we go. Good deal. Okay. And when you get up to these birds, it's a good idea to fire this thing right now. And hope that it hits most of these birds out in front of us here. Oh, remember about this thing for later. We'll be back. So we're going to take on Armored Armadillo again, and I think we'll get him this time. I don't see why we wouldn't. So remember that he's weak to spark thingy. Look at our health now. It's almost as tall as the, um, the weapon power. One more heart canister, and I bet you it will be. Stupid armadillo. There we go. Deal with this armadillo. Dude, how? Got him. How do I have so much trouble with him? I didn't even need sub tanks. Anywho, so we got armored armadillo, and uh, I'm sorry about the wasting time with freaking launch octopus, dude. That was stupid. Um, next time we're gonna. I don't even know where we're gonna fight next time. Next time we're gonna fight somebody. Maybe launch octopus. I think he's weak to the armored armadillo weapon. Anyways, next time we're going to fight somebody. So, thank you so much for watching. This is Kyrie 91 wishing you a wonderful day. Look at this cool weapon. Ooh! Pow! That hurts Launch Octopus. We'll see you there, guys. Thanks.